Hello, patients, and good morrow, everyone. Welcome back to the Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and we are talking another thing that was updated. And you guys can guess by what we're looking at right here. Yes, I am talking the pets that have been added to the game. As we know that there is aphids and weevils that have been in the game for quite some time, but we now also have a wonderful friend, the gnats, and technically I would consider the spiderlings a kind of pet because you kind of summon them if you get the mom jeans perk, but more on that a little bit later. But first of all, I want to go in in this video and I want to talk things like how to get each of the pets, what bonuses that they give you, their inventory slots and everything like that and all the things that have been updated on the pets in the home stretch update to grounded. So, let's hop in and let's talk a little bit more about all the pets that are in grounded and what they can do for you. Also, an absolutely massive shout out to Big Chrissy, Terry the Axel, and the rest of my fantastic channel members that show next level support to the channel making it so I can keep doing what I'm doing, keep making awesome videos for all of you. I cannot thank you enough, but let's hop in and let's get to this video, shall we? Alrighty, so in order to get pets inside of ground, you're going to need a couple of different things. The first thing you're going to need is you are going to need a grinder. The second thing you're going to need to be able to do is you are going to need to be able to research specific different items in the game that's going to allow you to make grinded up slurries. And then finally, if you'd like to have a house for them, you will need to research something like the mushroom bricks in order to unlock the pet house for yourself. But cute little things can happen once you get the pet house start unlocking all sorts of different things and a lot of fun times happen once you start getting these little guys unlocked so let's go through and let's talk about the three different pets you can tame you can get aphids you can get weevils and you can get gnats okay great information there uh, each of them gives a different bonus the weevils will give you a bonus to how quickly your thirst goes down aphids will give you a bonus to how fast you can sprint and the gnats their new bonus is how fast you can actually glide with your um, dandelion glider. So let's go through and let's just go through and look at uh, my little pets that I have here. First of all, I have my little aphid buddy. Apparently he's hiding behind over there. Uh, I had a weevil, he died, and that posted this new rip headstone that we have. They actually added this headstone in the home stretch update so this is a brand new headstone that's in the game you can go ahead and build this one so now there are i think there's three different types of headstones there's the generic the aphid and now the weevil headstone that you can get and i believe the only way to get the generic one right now is if you have a gnat friend die now your gnats are able to have um the pet attire put onto them as well and like all the other pets inside of the home stretch update all pets get a 200 percent health boost when they're wearing gear and depending on the tier of gear that they are wearing they will get bonuses to defense and also resistances so if we go down here and we go into armor you can scroll all the way to the bottom to find your pet goggles and stuff just so you know they're both at tier one right now they don't have a different tier at the moment but that leads me to believe that we're going to be getting a tiered pet armor at some point in the game and possibly more different pet armors personally i would love to see like maybe a bubble helm for them or you know maybe like an acorn face mask or something like that i think that'd be pretty neat in fact they probably could do with most of these the firefly headlamp i think would be kind of cute to have a tiny little more or less flashlight flying around you but let's talk pet inventory shall we because your pets now have an inventory so when you go through and you actually open up their inventory you could put anything you want inside of their inventory, making them a tiny little chest that follows you around. Now, this isn't as big even as your normal um, basket would be, but it's a it's an okay slot for inventory space. It's good if you're running around with a pet. I would suggest having something like a, a gnat out with you if you're going to go exploring because I literally had a weevil. I got him tamed. He was walking right up here to go up my little ramp that I have here and the infected wolf spider that's now right there came up and killed him in one hit and then I no longer had my weevil. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but it did make it so I could show off some of the tombstones and fall off my base. Uh Oh, my aphid followed me down. Please don't die, little guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't have any inventory on you, but I don't know what you're doing all the way over there. Here, let's go ahead and put him. Uh, go ahead and put him back inside of a house, and hopefully, he will. Uh, he'll come back over here and be happy. Now, there are a couple other things that have happened with the home stretch update as well to pets. Things like that pets no longer leave you when they get sad with you. They just lower the bonuses that you get from them. 
they will not drown anymore. If you jump into the pond with your pets, they won't go sink to the bottom and end up dying that way. Um, you also get the passive buffs have been adjusted. Um, like I said, those buffs that you got were either um, thirst drain rate, uh, speed of movement, and also speed of gliding. All three of those have been adjusted. They did add, add the, the Weevil headstone like I was showing you earlier. That got added to the game. And there's a couple other things as well that were just slight adjustments to the way that, you know, armor works with them, i.e. like the 200% health bonus and stuff like that. But really, that's the pets. Now, why I say spiderlings are kind of like pets is because you can use a specific um, mutation here called mom genes. It's this one right here. It says that your vocal cords stretch to form spiderlings summoning motherly cries. This isn't really considered a pet. But to me, I think it's kind of a neat way to add a fourth thing that follows you around kind of like a pet. And that is when you get attacked or when you attack, spiderlings drop. And then you can have spiderlings running around with you, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I personally like the fact that you can have something that runs around and pulls aggro for you and attacks for you. I think that's pretty neat. Um, your pets that you have now could technically run and pull aggro for you as well. But if your pet pulls aggro for you, the chance of them dying is very, very high. So you want to be careful with that. Also, I do like the little icons that you get for your little pets now. The little icon that's all the way over there for your pet aphid. And then also the icon that you would get for your gnat and weevil that are kind of just kind of hang out. I don't even know where my pet gnat is right now. I really hope he didn't die. Let me see. Nope. Squire McFuffin Poof's house. Okay, he's right there. He's just hanging out inside of the tower. He's stuck up there and that's fine. I like that he's stuck in there. I don't want anything to happen to him. But all in all, I've really enjoyed the pets in the game so far, and I'm really hoping that we can get some more pets added to the game here soon. Possibly some other larger things, maybe like an ant, maybe like, I don't know, a ladybug or something like that. I'd like to see those get added to the game. Maybe we can make like a water corral in the future, and you could get like a tadpole or a water boatman. I think that would be really neat. But if they started going down that route, I think they'd have to add full-on teaming and full-on rideable pets in the game as well. Like being able to ride around on a water boatman would be pretty cool nonetheless. But all in all, I like the pets that are in the game. I don't think it's too difficult to get them. If you guys want to unlock the rotten meat slurry, all you have to do is take a piece of rotten meat, bring it down and go research it in any of the resource analyzers. You do the same thing with a mushroom and the same thing with a plant fiber piece. And that is how you unlock those slurry pieces. And you will need a grinder in order to make those. Grinders are fairly simple to make. You can make them with two weed stems, two acorn shells, three flower petals, and five ant parts. Go ahead and make one of those. Make as many pets as you'd like and put them into houses. The houses, like I said, you do need to use mushroom bricks in order to unlock them. They are two weed stems, one acorn shell, four mushroom bricks, and two crow, crow feather pieces in order to make these. Not that bad for price in order to make nice little pet houses. And they give you a safe place for your pets to hang out even when you are running away on your valent adventures that you're having out in the backyard. But thank you everybody so much for watching this one. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next